Hello, my name is Helen and I'm from Winchester Baptist Church. Welcome. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. When we work in Africa with groups of women, we teach them about deep breathing. We do it like this. We hold our hand up and as we go up the side of each finger and thumb, we breathe in deeply and then we breathe out as we go down the other side. And this helps us just to breathe slowly, to relax, and just to become more present in the minute, to let go of all the things that we've been thinking about beforehand. Let's do this as a spiritual exercise, inviting Jesus into our being. Let's say Jesus inside our heads, slowly as we breathe. Breathe deeply with me. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Christ have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And we have believed and come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Today's scripture reading comes from Psalm 61, verses 1 to 4. O Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my heart's cry. For no matter where I am, even when I'm far from home, I will cry out to you for a father's help. When I'm feeble and overwhelmed by life, guide me into your glory where I am safe and sheltered. Lord, you are a paradise for protection to me. You lift me high above the fray. None of my foes can touch me when I'm held firmly in your wraparound presence. Keep me in this glory. Let me live continually under your splendour shadow, hiding my life in you forever. From this position of security in our Father God, we're going to pray about a few of the issues in Africa. We are so grateful, Lord, for your protection, for the many benefits and privileges of living in this country, where there's a health service, benefits, and we can trust the government, at least to some extent. We pray for the country of Tanzania, where President Magufuli and the health minister are denying the fact there is COVID in their country. They promote smoothies and steam rooms as protection against COVID. We pray for understanding in a country where the perception of the white man as having failed to protect people means that vaccines are not to be trusted. We pray for Zimbabwe, where the health system is compromised. Doctors may not get paid and oxygen is in very short supply. Many doctors have died of COVID-19. We pray too for a community-based psychological treatment programme delivered by over 700 trained community grandmothers. These help people with depression, anxiety, 
and alleviating suicidal thoughts across communities in Zimbabwe. We pray for your protection for these elderly women who know they are at risk of COVID but feel they need to meet people face to face to help them when they are in such distress. We pray for the countries of Uganda and Kenya, where the possibility of getting medical care if you get COVID depends on your resources. And most people can't afford hospital treatment. We pray for the millions where the possibility of casual labour on which they depend is made even worse because of the pandemic. We pray for the DRC, where Ebola has just resurfaced. We pray that contract tracing will be effective and that medical teams will be protected and that the out outbreak will be small. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me. Christ over me, Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks to me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all powerful. Christ as a shield, Christ as a light, Christ beside me on my left and my right. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.